What is up guys, Greedy Knight here with a guide to the small barrel bomb and the various counters you can abuse with your weapon. I'll focus on the weapons that benefit the most from the small barrel bomb, but feel free to experiment with your weapon of choice. Let's get into it. There are a few requirements to pull off the following text. The weapon must have a counter and a way to access that counter before the bomb detonates. A small barrel bomb takes roughly 3 seconds to explode after being planted, so you have that time to prep a counter or eat an explosion for your trouble. While possible to perform, any counters that scale with damage received will not be practical for these techs since your follow up attack will reflect the minimal damage of the small barrel bomb. The pattern will follow plant bomb, set up a counter, then counter the explosion. The first reason to use small barrel bomb countering is the DPS boost since these techs will activate a powerful counter. But the second reason is that you can also use it to practice the more precise counter inputs. This way, you can master the jank counters in your weapon's arsenal and use it on demand during a hunt. Longsword has far too many small barrel bomb options. The main option is to set the bomb, use spirit slash 1 from sheath, performing an EI slash, then countering the explosion. This gets you to the next level of spirit gauge that can then be chained into a soaring kick or whatever you need. The second option is to substitute an EI slash with a foresight slash. The main downsides are that you lose your current spirit meter and the attack comes out slower than EI slash. The third option is to use serene pose instead of foresight slash or EI slash. You can chain a spirit combo finisher afterwards like it's monster hunter GU. Serene pose is the most powerful option but leaves you with yellow gauge and no follow up soaring kicks. This is your best wake up option since the 1k damage will get doubled from sleep. Charge Blade has the first option of using the lesser known sheath guard point. The first few frames show the shield in front of the hunter acting as a guard point, but as a result provides a tight window to pull off. You have to wait for the bomb to detonate before you draw in axe mode, giving you less time if you have rapid morph equipped. This particular guard point is not treated as a counter morph slash, and thus does not receive the file damage boost. The second option fixes all of these negatives. After setting the bomb, you draw your weapon from idle, roll your character back so that the bomb will be in front of your shield, then input your ZR plus X guard point right when the bomb explodes, and let your 143 damage files rip. Sadly, counter peak performance does not get triggered by any bomb, so if the monster is sleeping or down, you have no way of reloading files except by bopping the monster. Sword and Shield is the most practical weapon to use this tech with since it can use items with its weapon drawn, meaning you can plant a bomb, wait for the detonation, and then pop your counter in the form of Guard Rush and Metsu Shoryu Geki. For Guard Rush, just turtle behind your shield while the bomb ticks down, using your X input during the explosion to perform your perfect rush combo on demand. Any down monster will just eat a slash and bash combo once you master this tech. The inputs for Shoryu Geki are even simpler. You time your guard point on the explosion, converting your silkbind attack into the spinning shield bash version. Either way, small barrel bombs are a must for a sword and shield user's inventory. Lance has plenty of counters to mess around with. The main three you want to use a small barrel bomb with is on Anchor Rage, Spiral Thrust, and Insta Guard. For Spiral Thrust and Anchor Rage, you must use regular guard as your equipped switch skill since it is your fastest unsheathing option. Plant the bomb, draw your weapon from a guard, position your hunter so that your shield is behind the bomb, then input your silkbind attack of choice. This will activate Spiral Thrust Blue Aura and Anchor Rage's Red Aura. The Insta Guard is using the parry from the sheath and then cross wiping. You can use your regular counter, but there is no reason to do so with a small barrel bomb since the counter attack is just another thrust. Insect Glaive has the advancing round slash from sheath, enabling aerial gameplay on demand. Wait a second after planting the bomb, then press forward and X so that the detonation syncs up with your spinning frames. It looks flashy as hell and I recommend using it whenever possible. I know grounded gameplay is supposed to be the optimal playstyle, but I am a fan of aerial gameplay. Dual Blades can use Demon Dance followed by Shrouded Vault, but it doesn't really contribute anything that you can't already do from regular demon mode gameplay. You lose a wire bug and it leaves yourself wide open to any follow up attacks from the monster. Hammer has Water Strike as its only option, but for the life of me I could not get a combo line to work within 3 seconds. Let me know if any seasoned Hammer main can figure out a combo in the comments down below. Lastly, Heavy Bowgun has a counter but I have no measure of its effectiveness since I don't use any gun or weapons in Rise. Gunlance mains let me know if this tech works for you or if it's not useful at all. All I know is that Guard Edge might have a combo path to it. The rest of the roster has no feasible counter to speak of. 
Great Sword's only counters are Rage Slash and Adamant Slash, both of which scale with damage received, thus killing Small Barrel Bomb Synergy. And they take a bit of wind up. Hunting Horn, Switch Axe, Bow, and Light Bow Gun only have Super Armor or iframes, leaving them out of the Small Barrel Bomb Club. Like if this video was helpful to you, consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. That's all I got for this one, Greedy Knight, signing out.